All right, so there's one other component of WPA wireless networks that I want to make you aware of for this exam, and that's the different modes in which they can operate in. So when we're talking about WPA, WPA2, and WPA3 wireless networks and wireless access points, they can be set up either in personal mode or enterprise mode. So when we talk about personal mode, we're talking about small wireless networks. So we're talking about home networks, small office networks, coffee shops, airports, or et cetera. Anywhere where they set up a password, they have you connect to the wireless network with that password and you're connected. So in personal mode, it uses a pre-shared key. And so for example, let's say that I go into Starbucks and Starbucks has a sign up on the wall and it says the name of our wireless network is Starbucks one, two, three, four, and then our password is Starbucks one, two, three, four. So then we would connect to Starbucks one, two, three, four. Then when it asks us for a password or a passcode, we would enter that in. Well, when we're creating that, that's called a pre-shared key because that's a key, that's an encryption key that allows people to connect to that wireless network. So a pre-shared key really is nothing more than a password. So this, I would say, is the most common type of a wireless network. Now, what about if you have an organization and everybody connects to Windows Active Directory to log into the network? What if you want to have a wireless portion of that network in your office, maybe in your cafeteria for employees that want to bring their laptops in and work while they're eating, or maybe an outdoor cart courtyard with some seating where they can also work as well? Well, then we would want to use enterprise mode. Now, when we're talking about enterprise mode, that is our 802.1x standard. So when we're talking about 802.1x standard, that's WPA Enterprise. And what that means is that gives us the functionality to connect people to the wireless network via authenticating them to our Windows Active Directory. So some sort of a central authentication server. And since we're talking about Microsoft here, we're talking about Active Directory. Now, when we're using enterprise mode, people will authenticate to our Active Directory via something called a RADIUS authentication server. And what RADIUS does is that it will use something called EAP, the Extensible Authentication Protocol, to authenticate these wireless users to our Active Directory. So we connect to the Wi-Fi, it's going to have us authenticate using that radio server. That radio server is going to use EAP, and EAP is going to allow us to authenticate ourselves to our Active Directory. And so that's what enterprise mode is. Now, we can also use Radius in, in other functionalities and other purposes as well, um, but we'll talk about that later in the course. So I just wanted to make sure I touched on this topic so you understand the difference between personal mode and enterprise mode for wireless networks. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll see you guys at the next video. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.